it's, it doesn't say anything about thinning it. So uh, it's really heavy. To me, a primer should be very thin so it can soak into the wood. I mean, I would think so. I'm no paint expert. I'm no expert at anything, really. Decided to paint the entire top. It makes it easier. And this stuff dries quick anyways. And while that's drying, I'll cut up the other wood. This is the front edge. This is the part nearest the door. This is the top where the roof is. The reason I didn't do this, I did the underside, is because I'm going to have to trim that with the uh, skill saw. And because it's got the pitch on it, I want the angle to be proper. So I got to cut off about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So there's no, no point in wasting primer on a piece of wood that I'm going to cut off. Just the top and the sides. later on and we'll paint it with primed underneath here and I just got to trim this edge so we're coming down on a on an angle rather than 90 degree cut we got to cut on an angle I think it's 34 degrees something like that anyways we're gonna nail this onto the uh, two by here and we'll be all set so we've got to just align that up just a little bit with the hammer inch overhang which is going to end up to be an inch and a half overhang because we've got plywood that could half inch plywood that's going on the sides. So two inch and a half overhang is quite what good. And uh, we're all the way up. These clamps aren't really tight so I can I can tap it. Just enough to keep this in place. Using Number six galvanized common nails. Then we'll put another coat of primer on this after we're all nailed in and everything's ready. Clamps out now because we got two nails in there. This clamp here, bought in the yard sale for half a buck. You can't beat it, it's American made. doubled up the 2x4 here uh, because you're trying to share, or 2x3 actually, trying to share uh, one 2x3 for two pieces of plywood joining. I was going to double it up, but you know why I didn't? Didn't have any more wood to do it with. Sorry. Not a problem because I'm just careful nailing and when you nail close like that you just kind of like have a tendency to go on a slight angle so you're not hitting the side of, you know, you center it right at the uh, halfway point on an inch and a half thick piece of wood, of course, such as a 2x3, 
uh, three quarters of an inch. So it works out all right. Remember this thing? Well, it's safe for me to climb on this to reach up on the top part and nail that. Somebody on YouTube had told me, why don't I use milk crates? Well, boy, I'll tell you. Maybe they want to see me break my neck. Make something like this. This ain't going nowhere. This is not going to tip over unless you deliberately try to tip it over. I get right up there. This is why I built this thing. Unless I'm eight feet tall, which I'm not, this gets me to be eight feet tall. Sixteen inch. 16 inches on center. 16 will be right there. Beautiful. Well, it may not be a thing of beauty, but it's a it's a thing of functionability. Now right over here, before I butt the next piece of plywood in, I'm going to hit some uh, stain in here, some uh, primer, to protect this because this is not pressure treated, so I'm sure water is going to get between the two pieces of plywood. As you can see, I treated the end of this plywood before I put it up here. The whole thing gets another coat once it's all in place. Just add a little primer in here. Nothing fancy. And while this is setting up or drying, I gotta cut the other piece of plywood that'll go in here. Right into the plywood because plywood delaminates at the edges so you just fill it right in. Now here I have a little screw up up here which I really don't like to have anyone see but it proves that I'm no carpenter. Uh, for some reason it didn't line up out here and the front end was bowed in so I had to take and bring it out a little bit and about a quarter inch off even though all these were cut the same length because this bin isn't perfectly straight so, like I say it's a jack that a house that Jack built as my dad always would say okay I've got the side piece all ready to go in Now, the side piece is going to get primed over here, so I don't need to pre-prime it or anything else, because it's going to have the overhang from the uh, roof, so I don't really need to worry about it, but I will prime the edge after it's all nailed in. Now, being that I'm left-handed, it's very awkward for me to nail like this. Well, I got it all nailed up and primed. Makes it a lot easier that way. All right, I got in the, getting the second piece in here. My little stool here to get my my skinny ass up here to nail it. And let's see. trick you just take the hammer and go in here and you estimate that and you allow the other three quarters of an inch for the plywood on the side and bring it over another little bit. Well I've trimmed it off we just clamp the straight edge from here to here and we just run the uh, skill saw at a angle so that it uh, looks pretty decent so I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video